From spending time with our customers, we've gained an insight into the queries and concerns some might have about the move to a hybrid or even a fully electric Volvo. As always, it's a pleasure to answer these questions on how battery-driven vehicles are changing the way we look at motoring. So here are some common questions we get asked. First off, what is the range of a Volvo electric car and does it achieve the figures quoted? So there are two answers here. The plug-in hybrid car, the XE40, has a stated range of 25 to 28 miles when driven on pure electric. The current 60 and 90 range of cars, they have an increased range of circa 40 to 45 miles. So different factors will shorten this range, so the hybrid is ideal for customers with a 20 to 25 mile commute. Batteries can be recharged in full on a three pin plug at work, so it's ideal for the return journey. The mix of a battery and petrol engine allows for an economical and environmentally friendly drive when traveling, especially in built up areas. The full electric XC40, so our BEV cars, they state a range of 257 miles. This is certainly achievable, however, factors such as external temperature, driving style, that could reduce the range to nearer 200 miles. What's the life of an electric car battery? So the batteries in our electric vehicles have an extended eight year, 100,000 mile warranty. We do have an end of life disposal scheme where Volvo Cars UK collect the battery and they're either recycled or disposed of responsibly. I hear home charging units can cost thousands. Is that correct? Well, the average cost for our customers today has been between eight and 900 pounds. We will happily advise you on this. So does it take a long time to charge a car? A plug-in hybrid usually takes between three and five hours to charge, which is easily done at work or overnight. A full electric car can be charged to 80% in around 40 minutes at a DC rapid charger or overnight with a home wall charge unit. Does the UK have enough charging facilities? So with over 42,000 units at 15,500 sites, of which 9,000 of those are DC rapid charge points, there's more charging stations in the UK than petrol stations. Rather than filling up every month or so, an electric vehicle is topped up at home on a frequent and regular basis. Why are electric cars expensive to buy? So the true cost of ownership should be calculated to include the running costs over your period of ownership. The hybrid and full electric models begin to claw back the initial outlay with huge fuel savings, servicing costs and lower depreciation. That said, we still find the overriding factor influencing the decision to buy electric is to help protect our environments for future generations. And the final question we have is do company car drivers benefit from driving electric cars? Ultimately, yes, company car drivers can make substantial savings. The benefit in kind for an XC40 B4 petrol, for example, is 35% of the retail price of the car. If you compare this to only 14% on an XC40 FEV and an eye watering below 1% on an all electric XC40. For an informative talk through and test drive, please do get in touch.